this Mlarwani. Today we will talk about next plan of, which is a long acting reversible hormonal contraceptive method. What is next plan on? It is a small flexible birth control implant that is placed under the skin of inner non-dominant upper arm. It releases about 68 milligram of etonorgestrel. The duration of its use. Next plan on provides contraception for three years and the failure rate is 0.1 percent. Next comes the mechanism of action of next plan on. Next plan on works in three ways. First of all, ovulation suppression. Secondly, it increases the viscosity of cervical mucus. Thirdly, it causes the alteration in endometrium. Next comes the procedure of insertion of next plan on. First of all, aseptic condition is very important. Insert implanon under aseptic condition in the non-dominant arm of the patient. Position of the patient. Ask woman to lie on her back on the table with her arm flexed at the elbow and externally rotated. Next come the identification of insertion site which is at the inner side of non-dominant upper arm 8 to 10 cm above the medial epicondyle of the humerus. So place the woman non-dominant arm in a comfortable position flexed at an elbow. Find the groove between muscle and arm. Measure four fingers from the elbow bone or about 8 to 10 cm above the medial epicondyle. Put the sterile gloves on. Apply antiseptic solution on the area where next planon is to be inserted. Inject local anesthetic of about 1 ml along the area where next planon will be inserted. Remove the needle cover of next planon and check that implant is in the needle. Now stretch the skin. Insert the tip of the needle below into the first mark we made. Lower the applicator below its level. Then advance the needle in slightly upward direction so it stays shallow. Insert the entire length of the needle under the skin. Unlock the applicator. Move it back to lock the needle inside. Feel both ends of the rod to be sure that you placed it correctly. Apply the plaster and bandage on the area of insertion. Let us talk about the contraindication of next plan on insertion. And those include first of all pregnancy. Secondly, certain thromboembolic disorders. Thirdly, the liver disease which include the tumor or active hepatitis. Then, in case of undiagnosed abnormal vaginal bleeding, we can't insert the implant on. Next comes the carcinoma of the breast, then stroke, then ischemic heart diseases. All these are contraindications of next plan on insertion. Next comes the complications of implant on, which include first of all pain, secondly paresthesia, thirdly infection then bleeding or hematoma then scarring and bruising and another important thing is that it requires the expertise for its removal so that make it unfavorable for the patient now let us talk about the advantages of next plan on it is a long acting safe there is no need of daily attention. It can be used by breastfeeding mothers. It is cost effective. It is an OPD procedure. It is immediately effective after insertion and there is immediate resumption of fertility after its removal. It reduces the number of hospital visits and there are no systemic side effects with the Naxplanon. So all these are the advantages of Naxplanon. Now let us talk about the disadvantages of Naxplanon and those include first of all irregular vaginal bleeding, mood swing, breast tenderness, acne, weight gain, 
ectopic pregnancy and another disadvantage is that it can't be used by diabetic and overweight patient so thank you so much that was all about next one allah hafiz